All right, I have just had one of the coolest days ever hanging out with one of my new friends here. And I've got to tell a little backstory about how I met him. About three weeks ago, earlier this month, we're in July of 2023, I took a little trip down to Knoxville to the Fanboy Convention, hoping I would get a chance to meet Lee Majors. I took my little die-cast Fall Guy truck, hoping that I would get a chance to meet him, and I did get to meet him. Super nice guy. He autographed my truck. And right Right after he autographed my truck and I come out of his autograph line, I meet this guy and he's a really cool cat. Turns out he's from East Tennessee and we get to talking some Fall Guy stuff and uh, I meet a new friend here and his name is Kevin Webb. I'm hanging out in his uh, garage here. We're having some fun, but we've been out all day just uh, playing with Kevin's toys and boy, he's got quite a collection. I'm going to let Kevin tell you about it. Hello, this is uh, the Fall Guy truck from the... TV series Fall Guy. Uh, this is the mid-engine stunt truck. It was uh, used on the show from season two to season five. It was built uh, to do all the big jumps on the show. Uh, they had located the motor underneath it in the center of the cab. Yes, when you said mid-engine, it really is mid-engine. They did it for weight balance so the truck would yeah. jump more level and uh, they built it to where it could be reused so it's got reinforced suspension, a full roll cage, and uh, extra shocks put on it, but uh, they did a good job on it because it went the four years and did 33 jumps in the show, and it's still here. Wow, 33 jumps. How about that? Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. They did, a, they did a good job on it because when they built it, they didn't know if it was going to work or not. It was just a shot in the dark to save money, but it worked. <laughs> That is wild. We, he actually showed me some photos a little bit ago from a magazine of his truck actually in a jump featured on the show. Right here. This kind of stuff just, just blows me away. And Kevin has other toys as you see here. He's getting ready to take this thing to Nashville tomorrow for an event with our friend Corey Eubanks. For the inside of this yeah. thing right quick before we leave. I've, I've had a blast today. I'm glad you were able to stop yeah. by and uh, hang out for the day and uh, get to know and talk to you better. Yeah, he, he even let me drive it for a little bit today. I have a video he gave me of me driving it. But. Blessed. How many guys have you let drive this thing? Uh, there's, there's been a couple. Like I said, if, if somebody comes from out of town and comes to visit, a lot of times I'll get it out, take it for you know if the weather's if it's not like pouring down rain or something. Yeah. No, I mean I'll drive it in the rain if I get stuck out in it, but <laughs> I don't won't typically pull it out if there's no need for it. I feel a lot of stiffness on your pedal. You got to really get on it. And that's just one of those. Yeah, that that cable it does. Yeah. Because uh, the cable is so long. Gotcha. It had to have a hefty spring on it to ensure that it gets pulled back when you let go of it on your foot.
Kevin, I can't say enough. I do want to thank you for a great day and giving us a good time. Hopefully we'll get to do it again sometime. We definitely will. I have just had so much fun here today. I am looking forward to it again. And you got to see his Tennessee plate. You can't beat that. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank you, everybody, from East Tennessee. We want to sign off and say goodbye, but thank you for letting us play with your toys today, Kevin. Had a blast. Enjoyed it. Thank you, buddy.